sunny day today. After what feels like a very long winter, sunny days is amazing. So I'm digging up uh, the back patch behind the shed and I will be planting a row of the Shady Lady Pink um, Proteas. I believe they're Proteas. They are like a Protea flower and they grow three meters tall, 1.5 meters wide and they produce the most amazing flowers which are great for cut flowers so um, I'll show you the process I've got to take up all the grass in the uh, retaining walls so I'll show you that and then I'll hopefully show you the finished product at least with all the grass and weeds gone so good to get out in the sunshine today I hope everyone's enjoying their day bye this is the area that I'm doing I've got to clear all that grass. It's looking good. I can't wait. Good morning. First day of spring. This video that you'll probably see in the end will actually be um, over several weeks as I'm getting the stock as I can get it as we're still in lockdown. But today I rang my local nursery as we're in South Gippsland. Um, I rang them and I said, I need some more Shady Lady Proteas. Um, do you have any? And what's the possibility of me coming and getting and doing a click and collect? And they were very happy with that because I really want to support our local nursery. And um, I think it's really important to, you know, to support these people who are doing it tough in lockdown. So today I have brought three more Proteas Shady Ladies. We have, I'll get a bit closer, we have another Shady Lady Pink, so I've already planted one of those. We have a Shady Lady White and a Shady Lady Crimson. And the Crimson already has a bud on it. So my job next is to dig some more garden Dig some more weeds out, get the get them ready for this for these shady ladies. Might not be able to get it all done today. I had my second dose of COVID vaccine a couple of days ago, feeling a bit a bit sludgy, but doing well. And I'm glad to be vaccinated. Not that I want to make this about that. I want it to make about my garden, but I'll try and get some work done today and I'll, I'll keep you updated. I hope you're having a wonderful day and hopefully this video will continue and you'll see the end product hopefully soon. Okay. We have four Shady Ladies planted, watered in, fertilised. Um, so that's the pink. Then we have the crimson with the bud. Then we've planted the Shady Lady white. And then the pink again. So I think I'm going to need one, two, possibly three more in this section here. I've still got a weed. And I may, going to the back of the shed now, um, one of the things we do have to do is, before we let our dogs properly loose, is secure that hole under the fence because they will find a way. Um, and then around the corner, whether I do something a little bit different here, it gets, as you can see, excuse the little frames there, um, it gets mostly, this is a sort of 1, 1 30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, sort of half shade, half sun. So whether I could, I think I will continue around because it'll just make it nice and even. And I think it'll, it'll do well here. Nice drainage. And that's the view from the other end. About to put some sugar cane mulch in that area, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll just continue to buy them a little bit each week, and that way it's not too hard on the hip pocket. And we'll see how we go. I'll mulch them up and give a little video of that as well. So I just quickly mulched it with some sugar cane mulch. I just wanted to talk very briefly about the sugar cane mulch. I prefer to use the sugar cane mulch instead of pine chips or pine bark 
just due to the fact that it, it improves the soil and it's not as pretty as you know chips or or proper mulch but um, it's all about giving what's best for the plant well, that's my opinion anyway so I think it'll suppress the weeds improve the soil and to be honest that's all been thanks for watching